sailing again. Left the reef at about, I don't know, 4.30 or 5. We've got the first hints of sunrise behind me, not that you can probably see. Every bit of sail up. And can you see the moon? Every bit of sail up. To pick up new crew, people. Anyway, we'll, um, I'll start filming when you can see stuff other than my ugly mug. Thanks again to Precision Sales. Top stuff, I love my blade. I call it the blade. It goes so well <laughs> to windward. 35 degrees. <laughs> I have to throw out a drag. It goes too fast. I was just looking ahead and I went far out. I bet you this big mountain is gonna stuff up our catabatic. I bet you it spills down there and out through that sort of valley and it spills out through the other valley and yeah sure enough look can you see the dead spot so i've got maybe half a k of just no wind and of course we're down to maybe one one and a half knots but i'm not turning on the motor people it's a sailing boat auxiliary motors are for pussies well i'm a pussy occasionally but shh I tell you what, it's crazy. Um, for some reason, just sitting down doing video editing for what I think it was seven days, and I didn't get out. I didn't go do anything exercise. And for some reason, these front leg muscles—I don't know what they're called. What are these called? Quadriceps? Quads? Or is that the back ones? I don't know. The front ones—they were really tight. So when I went for a snorkel yesterday, because I had to get some food, I've been eating like. Um, beetroot and carrot and um, lentils they were so tight that it tilted my hips in and then I got this huge pain in the back it was like someone just hit me with a baseball bat and it's still a bit sore now but I, I went uh, to the island and I stretched it and I stretched it on deck last night but they're still really tight and sore and my hammies are sore so I don't know what's what's happened that's never happened to me before I mean, you know, when you're sitting studying for exams or uh, sitting at a job. So I'm just trying to stretch these out. Uh, I can't believe how sore they are. This is what, two hours on and we're still doing about two, two and a half knots. It's going to take us a long time to get there. Oh, bugger. Unbelievable. So tight. It just died. Um, bugger! There's a reef over there. I'm just gonna stop there. I'm not motoring people. I'm gonna jump, go up front and just swim it. Okay, so I'm motoring just a little bit. There's a reef and, well, I gotta tuck in behind. So, uh, yep, no wind, bloody top stuff, unreal. All greyed out, can't see any reef. Also good, so I'm just gonna go very, very slowly, people. Town's seven or eight miles, and I can't, I've got 4G, but I just can't connect, so I need to get closer. And I'm gonna take all of this in the dry bag and just go in the dinghy. Right. 
gonna go out in the middle of nowhere, sit in a little boat, and do some YouTube. Still not good enough. Bugger! hell I can't do what I want to do I bought the computer just in case um, far out this is ridiculous but we're on a reef I mean this is not even charted this reef I'm good at finding things that are uncharted top stuff I mean usually I do this usually I do this on an island when the island's close but there's no island in between, so I have to do this. Alright. We're in. Alright. We're done. Sweltering in here. Oh, it's so hot. Okay. I was going to do a live stream. I don't think I can do a live stream out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, what if a squall came along? It might be a bit disconcerting, people. Anyway, I'm getting the water. Screw the editing. I've got to sort out my leg muscles and my back. All right, let's go for a spear. It's nude sailing today. Lots of people around. Not really. Some tourists just showed up. I gave them a bit of a wave, but they took off. I don't know, people are very unfriendly nowadays. Ah, that'll do. I thought I'd do all the nudity today because I'm picking up the girls tomorrow morning and we can't do that in the first day, surely. I know. They might think I'm a bit strange. Hey guys! Ah, there they go, taken off. Was it something I said, people? Hey fellas, how's it going? Just checking the horizons, people. I'm out to explore. This is the official exploring sign. Look at me go. Getting all my nudity out of the way before the new crew come, people, because apparently you ought not to go on your own boat, naked, with new, new crew, within the first 24 minutes, apparently. I don't know who makes these rules, people. It's a sick, sick, sad, sick, sick, well, world. Don't think we're gonna be breaking any speed records today, people. Naked sailing is the best, people. Every part of you is exposed to the wind and everything weather cocks, you know? Well, you know. It's glorious, it's so little wind, but we're going like four and a half knots, it's excellent. Thank you, Lord, you're giving me breeze to get to my new crew. There's our destination. We'll just get up here and then we'll tack and we'll get back in. I've never been up here, I'm running out of space. Let's 
got to keep an eye out for reefs because, well, there could be stuff up here, I don't know. Pity the sun's not really helping me out, but, but my dingle twangle is, and it has a sixth sense when it's out in the free, enjoying the carefree serenity. Sorry, I couldn't think of another word. Destination, one more tack. Well, this is the tack and we'll be in. Excellent day sailing. I mean, it's bay sailing, it's chick sailing, but you know. I'm just happy I didn't have to use the motor. I think I can see the girls. They're over there. They're not jumping up and down for joy. I think they've just seen the boat. I shouldn't have put a picture of um, James's boat in the ad. Alright, chuck everything up girls. <clears throat> Ladies, yeah you can use all, just hold on to that, bring yourself on. Gracias. <laughs> Alright, make your way in. Way in. <laughs> You're not on camera, by the way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who's hungry? Are you hungry? Uh, Are you hungry? I think I'm much. fine, actually. You good? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, so who we got? Uh, Clara. Clara and? <laughs> Gigi. Gigi. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're in a rush because it's going to be super hot. We're going to go. Okay, bye. First dive with the new crew. Everyone's excited. Well, I'm more excited. They've never seen San Blas, and I get to live it through their eyes again, people. Okay, so I'm gonna anchor. We're not gonna drift. So, what's the first thing you do when you jump in the water if the boat's anchored? Well, you can check that the anchor is uh, secure, but what about for your own personal safety? What are you gonna check? If there's a current, you swim against it. Because if something goes wrong, it's easier to swim back to the boat. You got that? There you go, people, always swim against the current. It's a bit of a bugger, though, when you're swimming against the current and then the tide changes, and then when you swim back to the boat, it's also against you. That hardly ever happens, but it does happen sometimes. The girls are a little concerned about the water and also my hair hairstyle. What, what's worrying you, Gigi? Well, you about sharks right before. <laughs> well, I just said the little ones, just they're fine. It's all good. I should have said nothing, people. Oh my goodness. Clara? The hair. Maybe the fishes don't like it. It's the hair. <laughs> they're not going in until I go in first. Alright, I'm going. Yeah, the boat's a bit heavy. <laughs> The girls swam around for a bit and they were amazed. They were here to try freediving, so let's see how well they hold their breath on their first day. Alright, so I've anchored the boat to just swim around here, okay? Okay, so what you're going to do is just relax. So you come on here, hold on to something. Get your mask and snorkel on and relax and do big deep breaths and pretend you're going to the toilet for a wee. Okay. You know how you relax? So just relax. And then when you feel you relax, then swim to the bottom. You're going to use effort because you don't have a weight belt. And then hold on to something and I'll watch you. So I'm watching you, right? And just see how long you can go. And what is this for your ears? Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, so every two or three meters, you should squeeze your nose and just gently like in an airplane. You know? Yeah, and just blow gently. You don't want it ever to be painful, okay? 
First day, I don't want to freak them out by putting on any weights. Basically, it's just to get them comfortable in the water first. Was that the limit? Okay, so can't be any pain. Now, um, you used a lot of oxygen going down because you were kicking, so we're going to get over that by having a weight belt. So try and do some, you know, like um, a whale kick with your body, and that might be more streamlined to get on. But you know, you've got to start somewhere. So that's okay, you get to the bottom, we'll just improve on it. Okay, you want to have a go? you got to equalise by holding your nose. I tried Okay, see how she was just hanging there? So letting her body fat keep her up. Not that you're fat, but you know, that's what your body does. It just makes it easier. These Smurf House corals are great for crabs, so I thought I'd check it out. And sure enough, right in the back, impossible for me to grab, was a crab. Time for the gum, but I had to be quick because there was a storm coming. Here's a little bit of lightning protection for the crab. Oh, I know, I'm a carer and a sharer, people. We just had a massive lightning strike very close by, and then another just over there. It's the girl's first coup de diplomio. It's only a little one. What do you think? Uh, looks like the cat people are um, joining us. Uh, I don't think we're going to have a barbecue on the island because everything is completely wet. Is this your first storm on a boat? Yes. <laughs> so what you, is, is it scary or are you okay? I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, well um, Gigi, he, she's seen the lightning episode so <laughs> she knows what's up so it's all good. <laughs> Is this your first crab or no, you had crab before? I've had crab before. But I think, I feel like there's different, right? Names different types. Ah, oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> you go first. That's cool. Yeah, go, go ahead. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! You know this is going to be a thumbnail, right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? Potatoes, Potato. good. Yep, all right, good. Just, just checking, quality control. How still is this? Look at this, it's amazing. I love it when it's just um, tempest and nastiness and lightning and then it's, look at this, just bliss. Well, except for those guys. 
they got a bit scared over there. <laughs> well, they, they anchored in the wrong spot, so I would have been scared too. I would have hightailed out of there. <sighs> well, we're going to have a barbecue on the island, but everything's completely wet, so it's not going to happen. Are you a bit hungry, Clara? Yeah, I'm so hungry, actually. Yeah, I'm still hungry. <laughs> we're almost done. Are you a, are you a perfectionist? No, I, think so. I just wanted, you know, first thing. Oh, I know. The, cri the, the crispiness is the best. The crispiness is the best. Yeah, yeah. Carry on, carry on. Bloody delicious. James from Zingaro just messaged me, so we are motoring four miles as we eat to go meet him again. All right. Mm, yeah, I need the potatoes. Yeah. Have a cloth. Look at that. If you suck the juices, oh my God, it's like so it's like crab bisque. Okay, I need to take a picture. Sorry. <laughs> take a picture. So is this your first crab ever? Yeah. What do you reckon? Fantastic. <laughs> look at the crab people, but yeah, look at Clara. So look I at really the effort want... she's going to. Every scrap of flesh. Look, look, everything. <laughs> You're amazing, girl. Yeah. You are amazing. <laughs> what an effort. Oh, it's all for you, Rupert. <laughs> yeah, that's respect, people. None of this filleting stuff, none of this throwing bits that are too hard to eat. She puts the effort in. Well done. Well done, Clara. We could do mojitos, actually, because we have sugar. And yeah, we but have oh, 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 we, we, don't, we don't have any ice. She was thinking for quite a bit. No? <laughs> I can't see it, so just tell me. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's okay, good. Okay. Later. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. All right. Wonderful. Cheers, good people. Cheers. All right. All right. Let's drink. Oh yeah, we've done that. Sorry, <laughs> forgot that. I've only had a sip and I'm already drunk. That's how little I drink, people. That's a winner. That's so mm. pineapple, banana, ginger. Mm. That was in this bottle that I made earlier today. Coconut, uh, coco de leche, and rum. Ta -da! High quality. Yeah, high, high quality. Yeah, nothing but quality. Well done, Clara. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned because we meet up with James from Zingaro for more fun filled mayhem. All on sailing into Zingaro. Freedom!